What's up everybody, this is the Game Virus, also known as the G-Virus, and today I have a very special and important update for you guys. I have decided to create several pages for my channel, pages that will help support my channel, pages that will help bring more attention to my channel, and also pages that will help create a better community and atmosphere and a stronger connection with you guys, my fans. People who are fans of the content that I bring to YouTube. I have decided to create a Patreon page so you guys can donate to me if you so choose. And also I have decided to create several social media accounts. First, let's start off with Patreon. Patreon is basically a site for content creators. Basically, if you create content, like let's say YouTube videos, Let's Plays, uh, if you're a filmmaker, maybe you do art, maybe you do vlogging, anything like that and you have a fan base and you do all of your uh, you do all of your content basically for free it, it, a lot of the expenses for it come out of your pocket basically it's a way for your fans to support you or to donate towards special projects or things you might be working on or things you want to get off the ground or things you need to improve your content to improve your channel to improve whatever you're doing to help maybe if you're a filmmaker to help your film move along stuff like that so I've decided to create this page for one because I've been getting throughout the years several uh, like inquiries from people about donations literally my fans have actually been asking me hey is there any way I can donate to you or give you money as a thank you or you know donate to your channel and you should take up donations because we really like your content and we know we think maybe we could give back if that would be cool and I've always said no I don't need any of that but then I got to thinking it might not be such a bad idea I know this is commonplace on YouTube a lot of let's players a lot of content creators on here have ways to support them so it might not be such a bad idea and I have put in a lot towards this channel so basically, I spend a lot of money on my channel, or I have. I have bought new capture cards, I've bought new microphones, I bought a whole new desktop computer just so I could uh, uh, edit together Let's Plays and be able to handle some of this new equipment and be able to render those videos out fast enough so that I can give you guys daily uploads. And you know, that was all my choice. You know, I wanted to give you guys better content. I could still be rocking with the same equipment I had at day one you know it, it was my choice to do all that and that's fine but when it comes to the games that's probably where the issue lies because there's a lot of games you guys want me to do and there's a lot of games that I want to do on this channel that I kinda have to put on the back burner because when it comes down to it I love let's play I love doing this channel but I love playing games on my own way more and watching movies way more and a lot of times you guys want me to do certain games or I want to do games that I don't have. There's so many games that I have in, 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 you know, in the pipeline that I want to get to and want to work on that I just don't have. You know? And I have to make decisions sometimes. Uh, you know, I'm not rich or anything, so uh, there might be games that I want to play on my own. Games that I you know that aren't necessarily for this channel. I gen I generally I genuinely have an interest to play these games like I'm excited for them and then I look and I say well I still got to get this game for this channel this game and that game people want me to play this but hey when it comes to that choice the let's play videos have to go on the back burner I'm going to buy the stuff that I want to play on my own before I worry about the, the let's play stuff and what that and what ends up happening with that is a lot of playthroughs I want to bring you ended up having end up having to be waitlisted basically you guys have to wait a long time until you get them. I'm not saying you'll never get them, but who knows when, you know? Because there's other things that are a priority to me that I want to get. And also, how could I forget this? I got bills to pay as well, so that's another obstacle in the way of me getting these games that you guys want to see and that I want to do. So basically, if you guys donate to me, I could have a specific, a specific savings just for YouTube-related stuff. So let's say a hundred of you decide to pledge one dollar, that'll be one hundred dollars. And I will take fifty of that, put it towards my channel, games you guys want to see, and for my own, you know, enjoyment as a thank you from you guys. 
So for example, I have just finished Silent Hill 1 through 3. You guys have expressed interest and excitement for me to get to the next iterations in that franchise, the franchise of Silent Hill. And to be honest, I don't have any interest in playing the rest of the Silent Hill series outside of this channel. I absolutely want to let's play it for this channel. I, I would love to continue on the let's play franchise for this channel like I've been all blind, never played before, because the atmosphere, the fan response that I get is great. I love hearing what you guys think and what you say and all that. But when it comes to just playing it for myself, I don't really have any interest for it. And like I said, the stuff that I have interest for playing on my own is a higher priority. So that Silent Hill stuff, I don't know when I'm going to get that. You know, it's happened time and time again, more times than I can tell you guys, where I've been saying, okay, I'm going to get this game. But then this other game comes out or something else catches my eye, and it's a no contest. I'm not going to override what I want to do for this channel or play for this channel for the stuff I just want to sit down and enjoy on my own. So with your donations, I'm not saying you won't get these games, but you'll get them faster. I can help you. I like like you guys can help me play games like Haunting Ground, which is like like a hundred bucks on eBay. I can honestly say the only way you'll probably see Haunting Ground is if you donate. I would love to play that for this channel once again. I mean, it's an older game, and I have no interest in playing that on my own really. I just don't. But I would. I have huge interest in playing it for my channel. Like that would be great. I would love to see you. You know, my fans' reaction. My subscribers see see their reaction to me playing Haunting Ground. I would love to do Alan Wake, You're blind, for you guys. I do have some interest in playing that on my own, but the interest for playing it on my channel is way higher. I would love to do the Gears of War series, blind, never done before, don't have them. That would bring in so many new fans, like, that would bring in so many new viewers. If I could do the whole entire Gears of War franchise, what are there, like four of them now? All blind, that would be fantastic. Um, another rare game I could do that I would love to do is Rule of Rose, but that thing's really expensive and listen I'm never gonna buy Rule of Rose unless I get donations. I can tell you that right now and And keep in mind also I want to make this clear too It's not even just so I can buy it flat out with your donations if you guys donated enough where let's say I could pay half Let's say I'm gonna buy Haunting Ground and it's like a hundred something dollars and I got, you know, $50, $60 from you guys, I could pay half of it. And you guys could pay half of it. And you get the game much faster. I'm not even looking for enough just so you guys, so so I could flat out pay for it with the donations. It could just be enough to uh, help, help pay for it and bring you guys those games. But, like I've said, a lot of the games that I want to bring you guys, like I want to do for this channel, I will get them. I just don't know when. And with the way things have been going, I keep having to say it, man. I have been putting stuff off for a while because I just have to make that decision. Well, that's just going to have to keep waiting, I guess, because I'd rather get this, you know? But if you guys donate, I would definitely set aside half of your donations to these things. And like I said, if I have over 3,000 subscribers. If 100 of you gave $1, $1. That's $50 a month. I'd have this stuff in no time. It'd be crazy. You guys would get those playthroughs you want. Alone in the Dark New Nightmare. I'm not buying that on my own. Like, you know, that's solely for this channel. You know? Like I said, I'm I'm going to pursue these games you guys want. It's just going to take a while. So yeah, donate and you guys can get these games you want to see. These games that I want to do a bit faster. And it'll be an easier time for me. Um, also, donate if you guys enjoy my content just to say a thank you I I liken it to a street performer a guy who's like singing on the corner playing an instrument on the corner doing something playing the drums or something like that and people who donate money to him if they like what he's doing or if they think he's talented a guy playing the guitar they'll they'll toss him a couple bucks and stuff like that if they enjoy you know his 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 art and that's basically what this is it if you think what I'm doing, if I'm good at it and you enjoy it, toss me a buck per month. But just keep in mind, none of my content is going to be behind a paywall. This isn't um, money towards getting my content. My content will exist on YouTube as it's always been ex existing. You don't have to do this. You can continue on consuming my content as you've always been for free or without you know any support. That's totally fine. 
in the, at the end of the day, your participation, your engagement, and your viewership is the most important. Um, also, typically with Patreon, you would give uh, perks to the patrons, to the Patreons, to the patrons. You would give them perks. Um, I, I don't know if I'm going to do that. I thought about possibly doing perks for people who, who pledge to me. I was thinking about possibly having reviews being uh, exclusive to patrons, but in the process of creating my first review, I realized that, hey, I might actually be better at this than I thought. I never wanted to do reviews because I figured I was no good at it, and I don't know, it just didn't interest me like that. I just wouldn't be able to shine the way I shine while doing a Let's Play, but... But hey, it was it was it was coming out good. So I don't know if I just want to offer that up to patrons, but I'm definitely thinking about doing some type of perks, but nothing let's play related. It would have to be something else because I want my let's plays to always be free. Um, I figure, you know, and the goals there's usually a goal like to get a new camera or a new this. And for me, the goal is the the thank you, basically, and uh, the games, being able to get these games. But because I'm asking for donations, I'm like, okay, I gotta give more of myself then, you know? I gotta make I gotta, I gotta make myself more accessible in a way, give you guys more entertainment in a different manner. So I have decided to activate social media accounts for my channel, basically. I'm doing Twitter, I'm doing Facebook, Instagram, and uh, I think that's it. And the old Patreon's not really social, but yeah, so Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. I am making fan pages for Facebook, so you guys, I, I, I'm not even sure how that even works. I guess you guys will, will be able to post stuff in it, or, like, I don't really use social media, believe it or not. I did back in the day a little bit. Like, I have all my friends on my personal social media and stuff like that, but I don't really use it. I see my friends all the time. I don't really need to, you know, I don't know. I'm just not a big social media guy, but I could easily see myself really putting myself out there for this channel. No problem. So, you know, I've decided to, uh, I, I would be giving you guys behind the scenes looks, like, like updates, like when I'm about to record, maybe take a picture, a video, or, you know, play little games, like I'll play for you, like, um, my next playthroughs intro, but I'll only show you the audio side of it, I'll, I'll mute the video part, and I'll play games like, guess what game this is, and whoever guesses, I'll shout you out, on the, you know, whoever guesses right, I'll shout you out on the next video, or when the video starts, and on the first episode of that video, I'll shout you out for guessing correctly, and, or, you know, just, I'll show you what I'm watching, what I'm doing, or, you know, I, I'll tweet, I'll just tweet stuff that has to do with my thoughts, like, if there's an update about something I care about, like, Resident Evil 7, I'll, it's just, like, quick access, instead of making videos, because I've been wanting to do update type of stuff with all the stuff they've been showing, new new like new trailers for Resident Evil, new trailers for other games I care about. I mean, one you know I want to make videos for this stuff, but my my thing is let's play. But if you you know follow me on Twitter, I can just get you those thoughts quickly. And you know a lot of people want me to respond more on YouTube and stuff like that. I don't comment back to you guys enough. This would be another way for me to reach out to you. Like I've said before, and, and remember this, take a point of this. A lot of you have. Uh, express concern about whether or not I see the comments and stuff like that. I absolutely do. I see, I'd say, 99.9% .9 of your comments. The only way I don't see them is if, I don't know, it's a glitch or something like that. I see it all. It all goes right to my phone. I'm, I'm, I'm like at the restaurant taking a, you know, taking a piss and I get a notification that somebody said something on my video. Or I'm taking a dump and I get a notification right before I hop in the shower. My phone goes off. It's a ringtone specifically for YouTube. It goes off and someone has commented, I see everything. I see it all. The good and the bad. You know, the funny, the sad. I see it all. All of it. All of it. So I'm gonna make. A I'm definitely making an effort to respond more. But I think the only way I'll be able to be successful at that is if I only respond to questions. Because sometimes I just don't know what to say. Like if someone's singing my praise, I could just say thanks. But then it'll just be a bunch of my only reply will ever be thanks, 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 thanks. But you know, I'll start trying to respond to your questions more. Even if I gotta answer the same question over and over and over again, I'll do it. Whatever. So that's like a surefire way for me to definitely kick back. But like I said, on the social media stuff, I'm going to be taking pictures. Like, I guess I'm not even sure how to link that stuff. You know, 
at the time of this video going up, I'll have all that sorted out. But at the time I'm making this, I don't have any clue. But by the time this is uploaded, I'll have that figured out. But like, I guess I'm gonna post pictures to Instagram and they'll show up on Twitter and Facebook. So like, cause like I'm talking about real personal stuff. Like if I'm on the couch watching something, I might take a picture of it and say something funny about it. Or you know, if I'm uh, or playing a game, I might up upload a quick little video of it. Or I'll give you guys video updates, like from me laying in bed, like uh. I gotta get up and let's play, but I don't want to. Just, you know, silly stuff like that, or just my day-to-day, -day, like an in-depth view of me, and also behind the scenes, like if I'm editing, I'll let you guys know, so you guys wonder if I'm working on stuff, or, you know, a lot of people ask in the comments section on YouTube if if these playthroughs are done way, way beforehand, or he's probably way ahead, I can update you guys on exactly where I'm at, or, or you can see that I'm about to work on Silent Hill 3, or... Alright guys, uh, I'll have a picture of the mic set up and Silent Hill 3 sitting there like, time to get back at it or something, you know, comments like that. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much, I'm trying to do more engagement, you know, all these other guys. I don't want to make it seem like I'm trying to copy them, but for me, like, it never seemed like it mattered or, like, like it was a real good idea, I mean... Like, I just was like, I don't need to do that. I just put up my, my, my content and people either like it or they won't. But now that I'm growing a bit through this constant upload schedule, I see the benefits it could possibly have. And of course, on each of the platforms, you'll, there'll be a, a notification. It'll be linked to my YouTube. So as soon as I upload a new video, you'll get the notification that a new video is, up, is uploaded as well. But that's absolutely positively not going to be what all those media sites or like social media sites are going to be about. It's just a notification of my videos. Another way for me to push my videos on you. No, 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 no. There, There's going to be me. It's going to be me on there. It's going to be my life and like just you know my gaming life especially just my thoughts on games what i'm doing if i'm about to do a, play a game on my own i'm gonna let you guys know that let you know what i'm playing if you know a cool thing happens while i'm playing whatever i'm playing like uncharted 4 a glitch or something i'm gonna upload that to my social media accounts you know and i'm gonna say something funny or i'm gonna leave a comment or you know who knows you know it'll be way more it'll be more up close and personal with the G-Virus than you've ever gotten before. And I, I'm really looking for, I'm excited for it. I'm gonna really try to make some excellent content with that. You know, some interesting, like interesting stuff, show you all my other hobbies aside from gaming, you know? Like the horror movies I like and, you know, talk about my TV or, you know, I'm a, how, I'm a bit of a video file. I want the best picture and I'm, I'm about to buy a 4K Blu-ray player and, you know, I'm, all, I'm over here, you know, stressing about this and that because, you know, I want the perfect display. I'll show, I'll show, I'll show you my house, I, my memorabilia, parts of my game collection, maybe say some stuff. All that will be through my social media. Like, it's going to be very exciting. It's going to be, um, you know, there's going to be stuff going on. I'm not going to let it just be notifications that my videos are up. So I'll leave the links in the description to all my social media sites i'm gonna like i guess i'm gonna keep all of them because i don't know what most people are on these days i think it might be twitter but i'm gonna have a facebook a twitter and an instagram so if you don't have a instagram or twitter but you have a facebook you can follow me there and you'll get all the same updates i think i might have exclusive content for facebook instagram and twitter like each one will have their own unique stuff that's only on there but the big stuff will be all across all three and stuff like that. And hopefully, you know, you know, there's always been rules to being successful on YouTube, like stuff you should do, create social media sites, make a donation thing. And I've always been like, ah, I'll just do it. I just let the work speak for itself, let the content speak for itself. But truthfully, I'm starting to see more that, you know, I have a nice little community going. You know, I got a nice little community set up, and there could be more to it than just putting your content out. I can in, I need to interact with you guys more, most definitely. You know, you guys have really supported me in uh, through comments and likes, and you really like what I do. So maybe I I always thought if I put up a donation thing, no one's gonna donate to me. Maybe they'll donate. And um, the final thing I want to bring up, because this is a long ass video, is. I'm definitely going to do live streaming soon. I, I'm, I was very excited. I was looking into that today before I did this video, and I got very excited, like, fuck yeah, I'm doing this shit. And uh, 
to be honest, I think I'm going to have to reveal myself because, like, actually show my face and like actually be on camera because the way I want it, the way I want to do it is with like you know the little webcam camera and stuff like that. I don't want it to just be like my voice, just like on the Let's Plays. I want it to actually have my face up there, so I could be revealing myself soon. Uh, that'll be interesting. I've, I've never wanted to, you know, do do that. I'm happy just being a voice, but. Just putting myself on the internet like that. I don't know. I don't want to make it seem like I'm a introvert, shy type of person because I'm not really. I'm like in the middle. Like, you know, like I have no problems being social and whatnot and stuff like that. But when it comes to putting myself out there like that, you know, I'm like, I don't know. Eh. But I'm, I'm willing to do it if, if I start the live streams and there's a good turnout for it and, it, you know, whatever. But I'm definitely going to do live streaming. So. Listen, we got donation, we got Patreon, for you guys to show a little love back for the hard work and effort I put into it, and the money I've definitely spent on it to give you uh, to give you guys a better quality product and content. We have the social medias. I'm going full throttle into those social medias. I'm, I'm gonna update those. I'm gonna update those probably every day. Probably every day, with interesting stuff I'm doing, stuff I'm watching. I'm really big into anime. I love anime. I'll probably say stuff about that, take pictures of that, show you my anime collection here and there, you know, show you gems from my gaming collection, you know, maybe even do a collection video, and, uh, yeah, and I'm gonna definitely look into live streaming, and, um, so right now on my Patreon, I have no real goals, like, if you, like, it's basically, like, if you ple pledge enough, you'll get these games that you wanna see, but that's gonna change, I'm gonna probably put some goals up there, like I said, I'll never put my videos behind a paywall, but I'll probably put... Because there's a lot of them. My scrapped Let's Plays okay. behind the donation. Because I have a Why few of those. A few me. scrapped Let's Plays. I that I could space. you know, release to the public if you donate. I didn't uh, set them out. Anyone. You know, have rewards. But I'm not really big into the whole anyone. rewards thing. It's like, you guys know what I do. If you want to see me no, it's get just, this stuff out to you faster. If you want to you you know, help see out. That's pretty much what it there. is. But I'll definitely try to put some rewards in there. And I have a few scrapped Let's Plays, you guys. Uh, you guys might like to see and um, is there anything else uh, I think that's it there's gonna be a whole lot of new channel art I'm gonna have like art logos will probably be on this video for each and every one of the social media sites and patreon there's gonna be like a little logo those will start appearing on my videos they're gonna be you know stylized and all that I got my buddy with me he's the one who he's the same one who did the channel art that's currently on my channel right now He's, we've been best friends since like high school. He's, you know, I got him doing, we're working on that. So those will probably be on the video. And yeah, uh, big changes, man. I'm definitely uh, going, this is officially going to the next level, you know, just buying new equipment and stuff. That's not quite just going to the next level. This is going to the next level. This is, it's going to be a lot more of me, more of me. And uh, I hope more you, and I hope you guys, uh, Take to the idea of all this stuff well and let me know what you think. Like I said, the donations are totally optional. I'm not expecting you guys to give me thousands of dollars here. You know, like if I make 20 bucks from you guys a month, that's great. That that could literally buy a lot of the games I'm trying to get, you know. But a lot of them are like, you know, 20 bucks, you know. For example, I want to do the Dead Rising series um, solely for this channel. I mean, like, I, I guess I wouldn't mind playing it on my own, but it'll be solely for this channel. It'll be a blind play through Dead Rising 1 and 2. They've recently come out on PS4. It would be solely for this channel. And they're 20 bucks, and it's kind of like, it's a low priority, man. I, I want to I wanna buy freaking, I still haven't bought Arkham Knight yet. I haven't bought uh, Until Dawn. Two games I want to effing play on my own, so... Until I get those, it's like, all right, Dead Rising, you gotta wait until those babies are secured. But with your donation, I can get, I can get Dead Rising one and two, and I'm perfectly fine with doing that solely for the channel. Blind let's plays. I wouldn't even play them on my own first. I'd make sure that they were blind first for you guys to see. You can see all my reactions. So, like I said, there's a lot of games out there for me to play. A lot. You know, like I told you guys before, there was a time when I stopped playing games for a few years. It's like last generation the early parts of the last generation i missed all that i didn't come around till the end till like 2012 or 2011 it was when i came around i finally said you know what let me get with the times and buy this current stuff 
So there's a lot of stuff I haven't played, the Fear series, none of that. All that I plan on doing blind at some point with or without your donations. But with you, with your donations, you'll get it faster. So, all right, this video is long as hell. And, uh, yeah, so that's what it is. Please follow me on, this is, this is, I'm going to be saying this at the end of every video, man. I, I, I got to get used to it. Please follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Donate if you like what you saw. I guess I'll find a, a, a less obnoxious way to say that, donating. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, definitely uh, click the links. And if you have these social media sites, definitely follow me. And if you want to donate, feel free to donate. My Patreon is live now. And this is the game virus, also known as the G, -G, 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 -G virus. And, uh, yeah. Oh, and also, real quick, before I go, I want to give you guys an update on when the next wave of videos are coming. Expect them within a week or two. I have a huge wave of new videos coming, and uh, look forward to that. It's, man, some crazy stuff. I encourage you, if there's a game in there that I'm doing in this next wave, that you're like, oh, I'm not really interested in that game. Man, I've, I'm doing some pretty good quality commentary on a lot of these games where you wouldn't really expect it. Uh, I encourage you to check them all out. Give them all a chance. Because some of them are very impressive. I am very happy with the work I've done. Also, a quick update, because you guys have been asking constantly about my Resident Evil 2 knife only run. <laughs> I'm still stuck on that alligator and I just dread going back to that game. Like, man, like, like, like a kid being, you know, having to wake up in the morning and go to school when he doesn't want to. That's what it's like for me to go back and try to fight that alligator some more, man. I'm just sorry. I'm just dragging my feet on it. I do not want to sit there and slug it out with that damn alligator. But, hey, man. It's coming to. It, it might. It's going to definitely be a part of this wave of videos that are coming within a week or two. I don't know when. It definitely won't be at the start of it. It might be when in the middle of it, some point I'll just get down there. But man, it's I haven't totally given up on RE2. But thank you guys for checking out this video, and I hope you guys enjoy all the new stuff I got going on. This is the game virus. Thank you for watching. Later. I don't need your help. I can handle this on my own. And don't call me little girl. All right, Miss Do It Yourself. What should I call you? The name is Rebecca Chambers, but that's Officer Chambers to you. Well then, Rebecca, why don't you go and try while I wait here?